Now it's time to tackle a little bit of back to school organisation. So girlies, I know you've been very excited about this. Very excited indeed. The folder system's very simple, but it's an absolute game changer for kids in secondary school. And now I've got a little mini Amazon haul to share with you. Zara did notice a rude word in it, didn't you? Do you want to say the rude word? You don't want to... Was the rude word too bad to repeat? Shall I say it to the camera? Hi guys, Ari here from mummyof4.com. Oh, welcome back to my channel and another vlog. As you can probably tell from my tone of voice, I'm feeling so, so much better. If you are not all caught up and you don't know what's been going on, then make sure after you've watched this, you check out my vlog where I shared everything that happened. I had a bit of an operation, um, nothing super major, but I was basically having really, really heavy periods. I had a little, anyway, off to fix that. Luckily, they did find something, nothing sinister, and they found a polyp and they took it out. I was feeling rather rough for the three days after the op, and then I woke up on day four just feeling so much better, and now I'm just so relieved that I actually went through with it, because I was in two minds as to whether I was gonna go through with it, whether it's the right thing to do, it's always a decision. I'm so grateful that it's done. I'm so grateful that the NHS did it and have taken care of me and so grateful to all of you lot for being so lovely with comments and dms and all sorts of things and people in my real life i had lovely flowers and chocolates and just just feel very loved and cared for and i'm super grateful that it's done and we can look ahead now to our disney cruise at the end of august and that i'm feeling fighting fit again it's just so good to feel like myself again because i actually feel more like myself even than before the op they took the coil out i don't know if that gonna have had any difference will make a difference I'm just really really glad so it is the summer holidays uh, as you know I work from home and all my children are home in the UK uh, for us it's like the last week or two of July and then all of August and then they go back first week of September I know in lots of places in America and Scotland maybe Ireland um, then they actually go out to school in August so a lot of kids are already back to school in the beginning of August mine are home I've got to say August is not very Augusty yet it's been quite rainy August if you are listening please uh, show up and and do that thing where you make the sunshine because uh, so far there's not been a lot of it but today it's not actually raining it's not it doesn't feel like August out there but it's not raining so do you know what I guess I'll take that over the next few days we've got like, just a fair bit of just I've got a bit of work I need to try and get done with the children home which is always an interesting challenge uh, but on top of that I want to plod on with a bit more organizing for back to school School, a lot of labelling, a lot, a lot of labelling. I've got a lot of that to do. Gosh, the children, I've come downstairs for two minutes just to pick up the camera and say hi to you guys. And they're like actual elephants upstairs. Actual elephants. I don't know if you can hear that. They're very loud. So I am gonna to have to go upstairs and see what on earth they're doing. It sounds like trampolining. Um, but before I do, um, we are gonna go and see the Barbie movie. I have made the decision to take the children and see the Barbie movie. I know it is a 12, or a 12A, doesn't it? Which means you can go if you're under 12, but it's gotta be with a parent or guardian. I have done a lot of research, and I've spoken to a lot, a lot of people that have been to see the Barbie movie, and the general consensus has been it's, most of it's gonna go over their heads. They may not be totally engaged in it. The girls wanna go and see it. William wants to go and see something else. He's not interested at all. So my husband's gonna take him to see Turtles, I think. But yeah, the general consensus has been that most of the unsuitable bits will go over my children's heads. So yes, I probably will get trolled on the internet because that's what a little portion of the internet is like for taking my children to see a 12A. But I'm gonna do that because I have looked into it and that's the decision I've made. I'm not saying that is the right decision to make because the only right decision to make is what's right for your family. And maybe you feel like you need to see the film beforehand. Maybe you feel reading up on it beforehand is right for you to make a decision. And whatever you wanna do that's right for your family, then cool. But that's what I've decided to do for mine. So we are gonna go and see it. Anyway, I'm now gonna go in and check on the kiddos and, and see um, if they could perhaps stop the trampolining they're doing upstairs. It sounds like they're gonna come through the ceiling. Hello, we beast. What is going on here? <laughs> Oh my goodness. What have you been doing? What's all this? It's my door. Oh. This door wasn't so good enough? We're playing the soft toy game. Where, where, um, so we all have our own we, kingdoms. Yeah, we all have our own kingdoms and then they kind of join together and then there was like, and then there was this fairy party and like, um, in the middle of the fairy party they were, um, 
the down the downward world was it? Or um, like... the downstairs realm. Wow. Yeah, the downstairs realm invaded oh. kingdoms. I see. It looks like you're having fun, but good grief, what a mess! In a world of Instagram versus reality, here's the reality, guys. Yeah. So we have come to watch Bobby. <laughs> We're in pink, aren't we? We are in yeah. pink. How excited are you girls? Really excited. Now, Bobby is E. Now, Bobby is marked as a 12A, so I did think it's the right thing to do. So come on, Bobbies. Let's, Let's go party. Go So we are out of Barbie, and what were your thoughts, girls? Okay. It was really good. It was really, really good. Actually, um, I know that some people were concerned that the themes were a little grown up. Not in that they weren't suitable, but just they were not perhaps interesting to your little children. Would you say that that was a film that kept you interested, or were you not interested? I think... Um, I'd probably say, out of 10, I'd say um, nine. Not, oh wow, really good score then. Nine yeah, or so eight. It, it, I didn't feel it was like really unsuitable at all. And yes, there were some jokes, some sort of um, innuendo -y sort of stuff. The way that, uh, oh, it was, I wouldn't say it was really any worse than um, another like Shrek or something that puts quite like grown-up jokes that go over children's heads it was kind of like that but yeah they were I was looking across at them and I think you felt sleepy at one point didn't you <laughs> but you also seemed to enjoy it and um, it was I think it was pink and pretty enough to keep you entertained even though there were some quite political themes it was political theming as opposed to unsuitable theming like about the patriarchy and things but I've got to say I loved it I loved it there was a very girl powered speech wasn't there yeah very girl part about how difficult it is to be a woman. Um, unsuitability wise again, there was a bleeped out word where they put the, the bleep tell logo over the Barbie's mouth. Zara did notice a rude word in it, didn't you? Do you want to say the rude word? You don't want to, was the rude word too bad to repeat? Shall I say it to the camera? Okay, look up like, skip ahead if you don't want to hear this rude word. Zara did notice that they did say, shut up. In it, didn't they? Do you think that's what made it a 12? It is rude to say shut up to people, isn't it? So well done for knowing that that's rude and not saying it to other people. Well done, baby. But overall, would you recommend? Yes. Me too. I loved it. Um, my advice if you're worried about taking your little one, just go and see it yourself first. Or wait till it comes on if you're really, really worried. Wait till it goes on um, like streaming and then watch it yourself and make a decision. But I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that we went. Um, and, and look, they even got to wear their bows. Look, look at the bows that we found. Do you want to show the bows? There you go. Yes. Um, and one of my very favourite words actually was um, spoiler. They um, they jumped in. The narrator came in and said um, there was a bit where Margaret Robbie was saying she didn't feel pretty. And they said, note to the filmmakers, if you want to make this point, don't cast Margaret Robbie. <laughs> We're home now, and the boys, Daddy Four and Will. Um, went to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ninja which Mayhem. oh, was it? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Which is obviously based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which were out when I was little. I guess was it the late eighties, early nineties? Not quite sure. But I don't think you'd watched the Turtles ever before. No, I hadn't really. It was I... definitely something I wasn't into, but it was on on like Saturday morning TV, I suppose. And my one of my friends' little brothers was really into it. Uh, thoughts on the film, Will? I thought it was really good. It's um, We are going to include a spoiler alert. You can spoil away. Skip yeah. ahead to the next section if you don't want spoilers. Yeah, it was sort of like explaining how the, t how the like turtles started. And, okay. and like it was about this um, formula that turned them from regular turtles into the mutants. The mutant hero turtles. In fact, I seem to remember when I was younger... They were Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then they thought that was too aggressive, and they changed it to Hero Turtles. Am I making that up? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about the OG 
Teenage Mutant Ninja slash Hero Turtles. Sorry, back to you, Will. Um, then there was, but um, there was a scientist who made the formula, and that like there were people trying to hunt him down. And was he a rat? Um, no, he was a human. He made he made the mutant formula. Oh, okay. And then there were, and then this fly was well. Um, then his he was the ninjas turtles were raised by a rat. A rat. There was a rat. There was definitely a rat. And there was someone called Shredder. Was he a baddie? Um, the evil Shredder attacks has come in something no force no facts. I don't like that. think he, the Shre- there was a guy called Shredder in it. Oh, I'm sure that um, Shredder was in. I'm sure Shredder was in the original one. And I'm really disappointed that that wasn't that song, wasn't it? No. Ugh, um, pants. They, were, they had some quite cool music in it. Cool music, it was just like, but not as cool as my singing. <laughs> okay, so would you recommend it? Um, yes, I yes I would recommend it. You would recommend and... it. Rush to the cinema to see it, or um, just wait for it to come out on streaming. Um, I would say it's a good film to watch if you don't know what else to watch in the cinema mm. at the moment. I don't know. That was the probably the best option for me. You just didn't want to see Barbie, so that was the best option, wasn't it? Yeah. However. Uh, you are going to want to see Haunted Mansion. We're going to want to see that, aren't we? Yeah. Obviously based on the Disney ride of the same name. Um, also, we saw a preview in ours for Gran Turismo, which I thought you'd like. Yeah. Did you see a preview for that? we're going to, me and Daddy are going to watch it. Yeah, that looks good. It was something, apparently it's based on a true story where some people yeah. who are really good at car Gran- racing games went yeah. and raced real cars. Yeah, Gran Turismo, it's a game on PlayStation, I believe. Yeah, and they, and well, apparently that's a true story. I don't know if that is a true story. It's like a game it, series, story. there's seven now. But you um, like, you and Daddy like Fast and Cars, and so. Gran Turismo 7 is the new one. Mm. Yeah, so Barbie, we definitely liked. It was very girl power um, the big speech that everyone is talking about that uh, is made all about girl power was amazing. I'll definitely be watching it again as soon as it's on streaming. I feel like I love that. <laughs> Should we find out what Daddy thought of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Okay. And uh, what did you think of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Well, I'm making a coffee because, because I almost fell asleep. Right. But... That good, eh? That yes. good. Okay. Not, not, um... n- would not recommend to a friend. Uh, it was alright if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, okay. But you know. Another stellar review from Daddy for. Thank you. So, as you possibly know, um, definitely if you follow me over on my Disney channel, but we are at the end of August going on a Disney cruise, which is really, really exciting. And if you want the full vlogs and everything, then head over to my Disney channel. Um, But that's not what I want to talk about right now. What I want to talk about is um, when I started my Disney channel, I started it because I wanted to share loads and loads of vlogs from the initial Disney cruise that we went on back in 2021. Can anyone remember that far back? Back when, it was still a weird COVID time. And I wanted to really go deep on it. And I knew that not everyone here is here for Disney and that's fine. But then I got it into my head that for some reason I wasn't allowed to mention Disney stuff over here. And I thought, hang on, who makes up these rules? This is my channel. There are no rules. (laughs) So although I know that um, not all of you are into Disney, and that's fine, not everyone's into everything. it is very much like part of our lives. We love going on those Disney trips and things. Um, so I figured when we're doing like little bits of Disney things to prepare for trips or whatever in the house, it's okay to include it here because I wouldn't do a home vlog on my Disney channel to show you the stuff I'm gonna show you. So anyway, the, the long story short, I've got a, something we're doing to prepare for the trip. And I am gonna share it here because it's something we're doing at home. It's like activities for the children and there are no rules. I think I get in my head a bit sometimes about what's allowed to go here or allowed to go on my Disney channel. Where did that come from? Anyway, that was a little rant no one asked for. So there's a thing on Disney trips, Disney cruises and things called pixie dusting where um, it's basically like little gifts are given. So pixie dusting could be, you know, like a cast member, which is what they call staff in Disney, um, give something to a guest. It could be guests giving things to each other. On the Disney Cruise Line, there's something called the Fish Extender Scheme, where people put these little like hanging um, 
what are they called, like hanging pockets outside their rooms. And the, it's called the fish extender thing because they literally have fish hooks outside the rooms. So people put these fish hooks, ha- um, hooks outside and then they, they meet each other on forums and Facebook groups and they arrange to get involved and they all give each other gift. Um, now I haven't got involved in this. A few people have said, are oh, we gonna get involved in the fish extender things? I haven't got involved in it because because of what I do for work and privacy and children and stuff, I am not sharing which room we're in publicly. In t- It'll be in the vlogs because we will have left by then, but I won't be sharing which state room we're staying in, just the same way I don't share which hotel we're staying in until we leave. Like I say, we're going to Disneyland Paris, I don't say which hotel we're staying in until we've gone and then it's in the vlogs. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm not actually involved technically in a fish extender thing. But there were so many people that were so lovely on the last cruise. Um, and a friend of mine, Anastasia, who um, is not a Disney friend, um, does this lovely thing where she makes these little bracelets and she gives them to like cast members and people she meets in the park and things. And she does these little goodie bags. So shout out to Anastasia. I have asked her if I can, but I've totally copied her idea. Um, and we're gonna make pixie dusting bags. And then if the children make friends with someone, then I, I've got a little something to give them. Or if we just meet people or the cast, the cast members especially, who obviously you still give tips, but um, just a little something. So I'm gonna show you what I've got to put in these little pixie dusting bags, which I think are gonna be really cute. So it's a nice, um, like a pay it forward type thing. Uh, the children are gonna make some things to go in the bags. They're gonna physically make up the bags. I just thought it's just a nice little thing, a nice little addition. And you don't have to do this. It doesn't have to be a Disney trip. You could do this. You could do this on any trip, any holiday, make up little pixie dusting bags to to give out, you know? Um, and obviously there's no, there's a balance where you're not like in children, encouraging children to talk to strangers. It's kind of something to do with you. Just, it'll be a nice little addition, I think, to our trip. Anyway, let me show you what I've got. So first thing I've got some beads for the children to make bracelets. And these are really sweet pastel ones, but you can, I'm not sure if you can see, if you look very closely, which ones are they? Some of them are the ones at the bottom. These are actually Mickey shaped, can you see? So I've got some of those and I've got the bracelet string stuff. Um, so the girls are gonna make up these little bracelets. Like I said, my friend Anastasia does this and it's really sweet. So totally crediting her for that idea. Credit where credit is due. Then I bought some of these gift bags. They're just these cellophane bags and they've come with these bow things. And apparently you make it into a pretty bow. I don't know, that looks a bit complicated, but we'll figure that out. Now for the sweets I put in the bags, I wanted pre-wrapped stuff because I didn't want anyone we were giving anyone to, like obviously if we were packing the bags with loose sweets, I would like wear disposable gloves or something so it was all clean and hygienic. But the people we're giving the bags to wouldn't know we'd done that. So I thought if I buy pre-wrapped, people are gonna know that they're safe and hygienic to eat because I don't know about you, um, the idea of like loose sweets, you know, like the old penny sweets you used to get that people have been breathing and snorting all over. So <laughs> I have got a big bag of Haribo minis. Um, my husband picked these up in b and I think last time he was there because I told him to be on the lookout for um, individual wrapped sweets. So I've got those. I've got a couple of bags of Starburst, which quite frankly, I preferred them when they were called Opal Fruits. They did, do you remember? Um, I don't know if you watched it, I did like a B&M haul or something. It must have been about a year ago now and they like relaunched Opal Fruits for a bit and I absolutely lost my mind. Anyone remember that? And then I bought this big bag, but look, look how sweet these are. They're like rock and they say thank you all through them. How adorable are they? So I thought those would be really nice for any kind of thank you gift, like if you're doing bits for teachers or anything. So even if you're not doing a Disney trip or pixie dusting. I thought I would share this little idea in case you did want to do little thank you bags or pixie dust bags for a non-Disney trip, whatever. Anyway, the girls have been going on and on and on me to um, sort out some of these bracelets. So I think we better get, I think we need to make a start on getting some made. So girlies, I know you've been very excited about this. Very excited indeed. Here are the beads. I've got these so plates. Pretty. You can have one of these each. These are just the Ikea plates Thank but it's good you. to have a plate with a rim on them for lego beads anything like that i'm going to chop you off a little length of beading string stuff and we can get started yay
girls have done a really good job making loads of fabulous looking bracelets. Each of them has got at least one hidden Mickey on it. They're gorgeous. The only problem is they can't tie them, so that's fine. Um, and they don't like doing the finishing off bit. So with the long string bits, I try to get them to thread them back through because it's neater. And then if there's enough string, you can meet it around the other side and tie it and it's double strength. The girls don't like doing that bit. So they have gone to play and left me to finish them off. Now it's time to tackle a little bit of back to school organization. So Will here, um, Hi. if you're new, you may not know. Uh, Will is due to start secondary school in September. So we need to do a little bit of organizing. Um, and Will, um, this is as much for you as for anyone else. We're gonna do the folder system, aren't we? Yeah. We are. We did this for my eldest. It worked really, really well. So the folder system is very simple, but it's an absolute game changer for kids in secondary school. Even though most things tend to be digital now, this system is still valid and it still works because A, not everything is digital and B, it just helps you get organized for the following day and for everyone to feel like they've got everything covered. So the system is simple. You just have one of these folders, one of these proper folders per subject. So that's every subject. So we need to figure out what you've got, maths, English, you'll have Welsh. A lot of people in England will have Welsh. Welsh, science, all the subjects. You get one folder per subject and we label the folder with the subject name and then you're going to have five lessons per day. Yep. And then the night before we pack the five folders for the five lessons plus one pastoral folder. So that will be your folder which will have your homework diary in it because even though there is an app, there's also a physical homework diary planner that I'm going to have to still manually sign. So the theory is you take out your folder and you put it on your desk in your lesson and then anything you are given in the lesson you put straight back into the folder. So worksheets. Science used to like giving booklets a lot, certainly when Dylan was there, um, whether they have moved a lot more of it online. You'll have maths books, anything like that goes in the folder and that'll avoid all bits of scrumpled paper in the bottom of the bag, which is what ended up happening when I was in school. So I am now gonna label each of these. I'm gonna put one of your name tags on it that we had from my name tags. I've been buying these for about 11 billion years and raving about them to anyone who'll listen. And this year actually I've been gifted some, so thank you so much to my name tags. They have given me a discount code to share as well. These um, are great for folders, but more to the point, I tend to use them in the care labels of clothes or on anything dishwasher safe that, uh, because they are machine washable. What I did for my eldest, I used to just stick a label, oh, <laughs> one of these on the folders um, and then just write the subject, the um, his name and the teacher and where the, the class was. But for today, we're gonna put your name and then we're gonna we're gonna label with mummy's fancy label maker. Ooh, I forgot about this and I rediscovered it um, a few months back and I'm like, oh, what can I label? So we're gonna label, we're gonna do the, the names of the lessons in this. We're gonna put your name on with this. And then when you get your timetable on the first day, we'll fill these out with the day and time of the lesson and the room number and the teacher name so that you just know everything you can be like where have i got geography oh yes it says it here on my folder <laughs> will that work yep cool should we get to it okay Bat. Mwah.
so that's another back to school job done we have all of the folders William and I have spent a bit of time sorting his desk his desk was a bit of a mess and I want it nice and clear so that he, when he does have more homework in September he's got somewhere to do it and also the drawers are now nicely organized I've also cleared out one of the uh, drona boxes that's these things um the kind of cloth insert boxes into the calyx boxes apparently they're called droners I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly actually because it is Swedish and I'm pretty sure I mispronounced most of the IKEA stuff anyway those calyx boxes I've got one of those and I've bought two magazine holder things uh to keep all of these folders in so they can all live in one place and then each night before school I used to do the same with my eldest I just send him pack his bag check his homework diary he'd show me what he's packed and it's like right cool you can go do your own thing now because then I knew he had everything for the next day and then it just stops your teen tween being in school like I used to be being like oh I've got the right books and then getting in trouble because that's not fun for anyone and now I've got a little mini Amazon haul to share with you do you ever order stuff and then think oh I only ordered this yesterday I have no idea what it is this was not new from Amazon today however it's my slice tool which as you know if you followed me for a while I love for opening boxes it stops you from wrapping your nails and it's just a must really it stops you from damaging stuff what do we got here Ugh. ah I remember this is another because I have a few of these I have them in most rooms of my house acrylic tissue box oh no it's not I'm dropping things Ooh, this is exciting. This is some stackable acrylic organizing for my bedside drawer. I love a little bit of acrylic sorting for inside drawers. I love to section off drawers. The drawers I've got in my bedroom, I'll take you upstairs and show you in a bit. The drawers I've got in my bedroom are deeper. So just having like a shallow uh, sorting thingy seems silly and I got these deeper ones let's open them up so these come with lids or you could just use those as like shallow sorting thingies oh, I wasn't sure if these were gonna be any good but I'm really pleased with those and the lids oh that's so cool look so you can put things in there and then you can put things in like the lid in itself is a stacker sorter really chuffed with those okay we'll take those upstairs in a bit and put those into my bedside cabinet. Now this is the other thing that I thought the last thing was. Yes, this is yet another, yes I have them in lots of rooms in my house, acrylic tissue box because it just looks so much neater than just having a normal tissue box and then I can buy any brand of tissues to count them in and they look lovely. I did have one in my bedroom, one of my children stole it so this is to replace the one that I originally had in my bedroom. Now a little mini back to school haul. So these are pencils, just like gray writing pencils for the children. In the primary where my girls are, they do certain work in pencil. I think it's maths in pencil and writing in pen. So they needed pencils. And then obviously Zara's gonna pick all the purple pencils. And I'm sure Bella's gonna pick all the pink ones, I would imagine. William will have the green ones to take to school. These are actually triangulated pencils. I'm not sure if you can see that. They are therefore slightly easier to grip. So having good pencil grip obviously is important for handwriting. They also come with these pencil like addition -y bits, which you can slot. I'm not sure if my kids will use these or not, but it's nice that they came with them anyway. You slot them over the pencil and if your child is sort of early on their learning to write stage it just shows them where they're supposed to pinch the pencil and it's got a slot for finger thumb thumb so even if your children are doing like drawing and things in the house it's good for them to use these little grippy things to work on their pencil control and therefore improve their handwriting and then Bella wanted a rubber and therefore I ended up ordering 11 tea billion rubbers so these are just a little set of rubbers she needed a rubber so did Zara apparently to go into 
that pencil case, uh, the girls have got one each for back to school, that we bought in Primark. It was a Disney, what's it called, Munchlings? A Disney Munchlings pencil case. But there's, it's one of those ones you press a button and things pop out. I had one when I was in school, when I was very quite little. I thought I was the coolest thing ever. Kids still think they're the coolest thing ever. Some things do not age. Anyway, there's a little section for a rubber. And so they needed a little rubber. So we've got rubbers. So I thought I would give the girls and William if he wants one a rubber each and then the rest can go in the present box and they could kind of be made up with maybe if we're giving like a notebook and some pens and a rubber or whatever as part of uh, birthday gifts for when we go to birthday parties. Those would also make quite good party bag additions I think if you're having to do party bags. Anyway. And then we've got some of these Z Grip pens from Zebra they are ballpoint, retractable, medium, comfort grip, ink colour as grip. The reason we've got these, I'm going to slice these out, is because although the children in the primary do, let me get this right, maths in pencil, they have to write in black only once they get their pen licence. I don't remember having to get a pen licence, but apparently this has been a thing long, around for a long time. So once they get their pen licence, they're allowed to write in black. But then they do, hang on, let me get this right. The teacher marks in red, so they don't need the red pen. But they do, I think it's peer marking in purple and then self marking in green. Or maybe it's the other way around. I know that they needed a purple and a green pen. One for peer marking, one for self marking. I guess the benefit of this peer marking, self marking, which they definitely didn't do when I was in school. I'm not even sure they did it when my eldest was in school. Um, but the benefit, I guess, is I by looking for other people's, say, spelling mistakes, you're more likely to notice your own. I'm not sure, but they, they're definitely doing this peer marking and self-marking a lot more, this like self-assessment thing, which is why they need not just a black, but green and purple pens, in the juniors at least. So Bella needs those. Zara's still on the infant, so it's not that big a deal. So those are the bits I've picked up from Amazon. Now I'm going to, oh, drop these. <laughs> Try not to drop them as soon as I get them and get them sorted into my bedside cabinet. I've got to say, I'm so happy with these. See if I can not drop them though. Look how cool they are. They all stack so beautifully. Right, now let's get into dropping things, dropping things. Um, let's sort out this a bedside drawer, which I did throw out a load of junk. In all fairness, it's not as cluttered, you are not seeing it at its worst. I've just thrown out a load of junk, but I realized I didn't have anything to sort it into. So uh, let's go. That may not seem like a massive difference, but if you saw the difference before, um, I actually started tidying one evening. I didn't have my camera around. Um, the drawer was such a mess. So the difference it makes just having a little bit of storage, wrapping up those wires with some of those Velcro wire ties, just, it was a drawer full of wires. It just keeps everything so much neater. And I know I will now be able to keep it neater too. So if you want to see more videos and you want to see them early you can check out my patreon which is on screen now you can scan the qr code on screen to visit my planner store do you know i do planners i do planners and you can visit that over there or you can click on a video on screen that you may enjoy watching and i shall see you over there thanks so much for watching guys